Shanahan arrived bright and early and reported for duty two hours before sunrise, arriving here at the Pentagon's river entrance at about 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time. It's the first public appearance for the new acting defense secretary. What's the priority number one? Good job, guys. Take care. Jim Mattis transferred power to his former deputy over the phone. There was no ceremony. In his first message to the forces, the longtime Boeing executive wrote, As acting Secretary of Defense, I now look forward to working with President Trump to carry out his vision alongside strong leaders. Now, there won't be much time for on-the-job training. A looming withdrawal of all U.S. forces from Syria is in the months ahead. John? Yeah, and on Syria, Lucas, it looks like the president has extended his deadline to pull out. Is that true? It is true, John. The president has given the military up to four more months to complete its withdrawal from Syria. The president spoke to Fox News moments before the ball dropped on 2019. I never said that I'm going to rush out. We're going to get out. We're getting out of Syria. We're bringing our young, great troops home after so many years. On a visit to Brazil's capital for the inauguration of its new president, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says the U.S. would continue to work closely with Israel to counter Iran, even after all 2,000 U.S. troops are out. Yeah, the decision the president made on Syria in no way uh, changes anything that uh, this administration is working on alongside Israel. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Joe Dunford, departs for Turkey in the coming days alongside John Bolton. They will be discussing Syria and the next steps ahead. John? Lucas Tomlinson, a lot of changes for you to cover there at the Pentagon. Thank you.